One happy Tuesday waking up this morning with a dense fog. In fact, usually we have a great view of downtown right now, but you can see the visibilities are uh, being blocked, or I should say downtown's being blocked by the thick fog. 64 right now, the temperature dew point is 64, so that air is saturated at 100% the humidity. Now, visibility wise statewide, again, it's widespread fog this morning. You can see low visibilities up and down Interstate 35 and in, also east and west on Interstate 80. So the plan for today, it's going to be a warm one, even though we're going to start with fogs and some cloud this morning. I think those clouds will start to uh, get on out of here by by the afternoon time frame. Temperatures, like I mentioned, are going to be in the 80s, most likely the mid 80s. And one thing to note too, during the late morning, early afternoon, a couple models are indicating there's a, a pop up chance of a, a thunder shower during that time frame. It's a small chance, but I am going to keep it in there. And as we take a look here at Futurecast, you can see what it looks like. And I'm, so I'm going to just keep an, a, a slight chance of that pop up thunder shower during the late morning, midday time frame. There you go. Temperatures again climbing to the 80s, most likely between about 84 and 80. 86 degrees for still warm though by seven o'clock and then as we uh, start to focus up to the north the front starts to move through this is going to be a cold front and that's going to produce the chance for some showers and thunderstorms uh, in the parts of South Dakota Minnesota where they could have some severe weather far northwestern Iowa uh, could see a few of these storms in the evening and overnight hours tonight through tomorrow. It's going to be mainly east of Interstate 35 as that uh, as that front pushes through. Could even have a few stronger storms in eastern Iowa by tomorrow. But temperatures the next several days will be the headline because we're just going to continue to stay on the warm side. Maybe a degree difference as that cold front moves through tomorrow and then we're back to the 90s Thursday and the first day of fall. Saturday looks dry right now and then uh, weather could get a little active Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday with a chance of rain, but cooler temperatures start to arrive, so it's going to feel more like fall into next week. Right